Non Vaudeville program with your host, Frank Hope, and your co host, David Green. Frank the Cat, with special guest co host, Aaron Kay, movie star, Shirley Stoller, Robert Harmonica Stevens, Toxic Avenger star, Rod Fazio. Crooner, crooner Tommy Rocco, Joey the Monkey, and lots and lots more. Thank you, and uh, welcome once again to the Beyond Vaudeville uh, program. Uh, David, why didn't you take a little longer on the credits? Maybe we would have been all over with the show already. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, we have lots of uh, special things in store today. Uh, and I'd like to show you first uh, Frank the Cat. Uh, come here, Frank. No, come on. Okay. Yes, Frank the Cat is on the show now. No, no, it's all caught in the wire. All right, do you want to say something, Frank? Uh, Frank okay, he's just going to sit there. Uh, now, we have uh, lots of things. We want to thank uh, some people who have been writing in, some fans of the show. Uh, whoops, oh, Frank, what? <laughs> I guess he's looking for mice. Oh, okay, that's uh, Aaron K. Uh, Aaron... <coughs> Aaron, uh, welcome to the program. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for being our special co-host today. Uh, as I was saying, we'd like to thank uh, Bill German, who does the uh, Rolling Stones newsletter. Uh, he watches uh, all the time. And uh, who's the other guy that... Uh, oh, Alan Chusid wrote a very nice letter. I'd like to thank you. And uh, and just want to show some uh, quickly the things. The uh, Chia Pet is uh, back, and you can get that and, and make them grow, the, uh, the pet. And uh, also the... Uh, uh, First Lady and uh, Mr. President uh, slippers, and uh, uh, oh, and uh, oh, and also the whole Star Trek, uh, the new generation. And if you press this button, <laughs> that's the, the special saying from the Star Trek, and it has all the photos of the new ones, the new cast. With the the Whoopi woman and the the uh, Will Wheaton, who you remember from uh, the other show, with all the kids that eat the uh, that get the things on their body. David, you remember that Will Wheaton? Oh, that's my collection, David. Uh, okay, well maybe we better uh, move on to our uh, first guest, who we're very happy to have on. Uh, uh, we, oh, uh, uh, this is a very special uh, uh, movie star that we're having on our uh, program, who we're uh, very happy to have. Uh, I had seen her work in the uh, classic uh, movie, The Honeymoon uh, Killers, but she's also done many more things than that. Uh, please welcome, we're very proud, that Miss Shirley Stolen. Hello, Miss Stoller. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your microphone's right there. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> farewell. farewell. <laughs> now, uh, this actually isn't your first uh, TV. You, you did the Skag show uh, some time back. Uh. Well, I've done a lot of TV. Mm -hmm. um, that was a while ago. Uh, most recently, I, I was on uh, Give or Take 14 Months on One Life to Live. Mm -hmm. uh, most recent thing was uh, Miami Blues. Oh, okay. Yeah, they <laughs> wrote quite a bit about uh, having uh, Alec uh, Baldwin having his fingers chopped off with a machete. Oh. As the climactic scene of the film. Right. I'm the one that did it. Oh. Now, anyone who saw the uh, honeymoon killers, I still get chills sometimes when I think of that hammer scene that you did. Well, uh, I, I was just a victim of circumstance. Oh, okay. Uh, now, but now you've done a lot of movies uh, and big movies too. The uh, Deer Hunter and the uh, Be Seven Beauties. Seven Beauties, yes. You were in, and uh, now, uh, and lately, uh, you you recently wrote a letter to the uh, New York Times paper. Right. And that was. Uh, and they printed it. And can you tell us about that a little bit? Sure. Um, they did a, a an article on Kathy Bates, a wonderful article, four or five pages, a headshot as big as the page, and so on. And I admire her immensely, but the article was uh, went on as if to imply that she was the first woman of any size uh, to be taken uh, uh, to be accepted as a serious actress. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, well, <laughs> that wasn't really so. I mean, uh, I just felt that uh, I didn't, as I put it in the first 
first uh, letter, a sentence of the letter, I said, whimsical as it may seem, I wouldn't like my tiny moment in history to go unacknowledged. Right. And, and so they printed the letter, and uh, <laughs> I was glad. <laughs> you know? Now, uh, now we, uh, you actually brought along a, a clip here, which we're very happy to have. Yeah, just and in terms of... of uh, when you walk into a casting director, and if he doesn't know your work in particular, a five-minute hello interview has, gives them no idea of, of the kind of thing you're able to do and the kind of work that you're capable of. So this tape is uh, sure. an indication thereof. Okay, well, maybe we could take a look at that uh, now on the, on the TV. Uh, that was very uh, special. Now, the, going backwards, that was a uh, displaced person. Yeah, but this, uh, that was only half the tape. Okay, more on the... Uh, all right. Uh, well, uh, well, from, from those that we, that we saw, there, there were some others that you have done that... Uh, uh, there was um, In the Heat of the Night. There was um, um, Sturdy Browns, which was a, a, um, an NYU film, at the half, mm -hmm. a short film which won a mobile con uh, a competition mm -hmm. in which I play a Russian woman who sells stuffed cabbage in, uh, on the boardwalk at Brighton. So right. That's my favorite thing. And uh, um, just, you know, the variety is, is very important. I think variety is very important for an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually what I stress. Uh, the organic process of, of, of uh, getting into a character is what I stress when I teach. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you also do all kinds of uh, work, not just the series like in those, but uh, you do the, the Pee Wee uh, TV show. Oh, yes, right? yes. There, there was a, there was a shot on that tape, shot. actually. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to have a talk with the uh, control room after the uh, program, I think. So will I. Um, yeah. Maybe we should get uh, David in there uh, <laughs> to take care of that. Uh, well, now, uh, Miss Stoller, we want you to uh, stay with us, and we just want to bring out uh, some of our guests, because we do have some other guests on. Uh, so if we might uh, introduce our, our next guest, uh, uh, he's uh, multi-talented uh, with the uh, harmonica. And uh, his name is uh, Robert Harmonica Stevens, please, uh, to the show. Uh, uh, David will move for you, Mr. Uh, Stevens. Uh, okay. Oh, David, it's like you're doing uh, musical chairs over there. Uh, now, um, now uh, Mr. Stevens, you, uh, uh, you have a microphone there. Uh, uh, just clip that uh, on the... Okay, uh, David, why not, maybe you can give him your microphone. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I can give him mine. Well, uh, no, it's okay, Miss Stoller. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, now, Mr. Stevens, you were actually on the uh, Ted Mac uh, Amateur Hour back in uh, 1969, 69. right? And uh, and you showed some of your harmonica playing, and you you brought one of them, a little tiny one, right? Okay. And now, with that, you can do a special song from the uh, Hans Christian Andersen movie, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, one of my favorite Co Copenhagen. songs. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. And <coughs> maybe you can share that uh, with us? All right. And it goes like this. Uh, 
instruments at all? Or, or? Well, I can play some bongo drums and tambourine occasionally. Okay. But they may not be on key, except when I'm at a rainbow gathering and everybody's all, you know, potted out or tripped out. But, but, or, or another thing, or another thing, when I'm in a riot, I throw a rock through a police car window. It does bring out the squeak music of breaking glass. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Uh, but not more traditional uh, music. Yeah. Well, when it comes to music, I do like to hear reggae, you know, a little bit of blues, a little bit of rock, a little bit of rap. Okay. And lately, lately I've been hearing a lot of new kids on the block, thanks to my eight-year-old. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Miss Nola, do you play music at all? Uh, or just I know. I sing. You I sing, sing oh. yes. I, when I was in Europe, I supported myself by singing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now, uh, now, uh, Mr. Stevens, uh, you also have an unusual uh, act that you can do with your harmonica, and where you play with your nose and your mouth mm -hmm. at the same time. And could you share that? <coughs> Same number, perhaps? Oh, uh, sure, unless you want to do another one, oh, maybe. Oh, tiptoe through the tulips. How oh, about that, that would be, that would be Very great. Very good. I'll play tiptoe through the tulips with the same harmonica. Okay. Uh, and, and then through the nose, too, uh, you can well, do Well, I could play it with the nose first or through the mouth. Which would you like? Oh, to? not both. Not the mouth and well, the nose. Well, I, I have another harmonica here in my pocket. I didn't think I was going to use both of them, oh, but, I, I could, but I could. I thought maybe you, you can do it with both the mouth and the nose, yes, right? Yes. Same. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. How many harmonicas do you have? Oh, about 30 or 40. Oh. Okay. And so I'll put one here like this. All righty. And one like that. Okay. And, and one like this. And one like that. Okay. You want the same number or you want to play a, a tiptoe? Tip would be tip would be great, yeah. Maybe I can do that someday. Uh, I would have done better, but I didn't rehearse. Okay, and I was right on the spot, and I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, now, we uh, do have other guests, and our next guest, uh, who we'd like to bring out, too, uh, is, uh, is uh, very uh, special to us uh, also uh, uh, from the movies uh, and uh, also from football. Uh, it does all kinds of things. Uh, please welcome Mr. Ron Fazio. Uh, it's good to have someone uh, big like you, Mr. Fazio, next to David, so if he gets out of hand, you can just hit him or something. Yeah, right. <coughs> okay. He yeah, well, looks like he's had a little bit too much coffee. That, that must be it. And uh, David, I, I, I think you should watch out because uh, Mr. Fazio actually played with the, well, he was with the Dallas Cowboys, right? Uh, Dallas Cowboys in 1985. And... Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles in 1986 and 87. And let me tell you, you could probably make the team. You, you're a you think uh, maybe? Tremendous yeah. physical specimen over there. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fazio. Uh, now, uh, now, you actually had some uh, problems with one of your managers, right? With, with the first, it said, oh, I know where I was getting this from, in the Sports Illustrated. Hey, you they got did that a big story on Mr. Fazio, a whole page. And you wanted to throw one of your coaches off a cliff or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, off a cliff. And, uh, Sometimes you have good experiences, sometimes you have bad experiences. When I was with the Philadelphia Eagles, I had a, a great experience to try out for the team, but the experience of trying out the t for the team did not work out as well as I would have liked. Okay. And uh, I can imagine. You had this yeah. Instead of throwing them off for cliffs, sometimes you could uh, look uh, look up in the village, look at look for a stripper service or a pie kill service. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 I mean, I'm, you know, have the coach pied at, at, at a vulnerable moment. Mr. K likes to throw pies. He was on the uh, Morton Downey show, right? Uh, talking about your pie throwing. Uh, I was on many shows talking about pieing politicians and public figures. Did you get Morton in the face? 
Morton isn't worthy. He puts a pie in his own face. Yeah, oh, you're right. I mean, <laughs> when, when, when he claimed that the skinheads belt him and then found it was a bunch of baloney, mm. that didn't put the nail in the coffin. I mean, if they really did to him, I would have sympathized with Morton because I don't like skinheads myself. But when he tried to get sympathy and then found out that he was just trying to get uh, attention for himself, I lost all respect for the guy. Okay. Me too. Me now, too. Uh, now, uh, I do have a question. Uh, now, Mr. Uh, Fazio, now, so you're not with football anymore. Actually, Mr. Fazio went on to movies and was the Toxic uh, Avenger. Yes. Uh, and you brought the mask. Uh, the Mr. Toxic right here. Now, all kinds of things are going on this with the Toxic now, right? Uh, the actual mask that I used in the movie. Wow. Um, that was it. It's kind of been through the storm a little bit, but uh, that's him. What do you think? Is it you very know? attractive? It's, it's what do you nice. think? Now, uh, <laughs> twins. Okay. Twins. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, now, Mr. Fancy, you, know, you, uh, now, you didn't have any acting experience before you did that part, right? That was I, your uh, first, uh, the acting experience I had was just having fun, okay. being myself, uh, enjoying what I was doing, getting the chance to be a okay, David. Uh, it's all yeah, right, a David. movie set and had a great time and I used just my uh, inner thoughts to have my own, develop my own method as to be the Toxic Avenger. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, if you ever... I did play a tree once. Oh. In uh, second grade. <laughs> okay. I was always tall. Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, Miss Stoller actually teaches uh, acting. Uh, you could have uh, learned from her. But, uh, I bet I could. Before you she started, she uh, of good experience. I would have loved to. Okay. Had some <coughs> It would have been great. Want me to make you a star? <laughs> oh well. Wow. Here we go. Uh, did you ever play a treat, Miss Stoller, in second grade or? Uh, no. I. Uh, first thing I ever played was uh, a grandmother when I was eight years old. Oh. Okay. They knew I was a character actress right off. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> now, actually, a, a, a friend of the program has uh, popped up, I see, in the back uh, 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 Rachel. Uh, Rachel, you want to come out? Uh, come, on, come on out. This is actually uh, Mr. Aaron Kay's uh, daughter, and Rachel's helping us uh, with, oh wait, you're not supposed to show the top of stuff, you know, with your hand. Okay, and she's uh, she's just here to help out today and, you know, make sure everything's under control. And uh, thank you, uh, Rachel. Uh, now, uh, okay, and uh, all right, now, before uh, we come out to our next guest, we'd like to, uh, 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 Mr. Fazio, you brought a, uh, a clip with you, right? From yes, the Toxic. Uh and uh, a trailer, a trailer. Uh, part of the trailer yeah, from the uh, toxic avenger part two there's a, a car from the uh oh no no it's like a little clip of a coming attraction trailer oh okay. all right uh, i didn't understand it uh, okay now uh laurie let's take a look at that please from the uh, toxic avenger uh two movie one brave soul who can stop the forces of evil no i am history <laughs> There's only one hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength, and he's back. Don't worry, sir. I'm the Toxic Avenger. He's a fighter. <laughs> he's a thinker. Oh, that, was, uh, that was very good, Did uh, you like Mr. Fazio. Now, uh, and you have some... Uh, some uh, <laughs> pictures from the movie you brought uh, with yes, you? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I have a photo, a publicity photo right here of, uh, oops, me and my uh, co-star, Phoebe Legere. Uh, Phoebe Legere, who was on our program, uh, but mm -hmm. I wasn't there. David was hosting and he messed up the show that time, but uh, <laughs> oh. we had that. Well, I'll have to call and apologize to Phoebe or something. Yes. And, um, you know, for $35, I'll autograph this later if you want. Oh, thank you. Here. Okay. Could you pass that over? I also, the, uh, <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only thank kidding. You, now, these are um, promotional mini posters from part two and the yet to be released on video part three so I'll just show that here and then I'll pass these two over to you okay. so there will be they will be collectors items in the very near future um, uh, worth a lot of money thank you, okay because well, they are also going to be coming out with a toxic Avenger cartoon and and toys right and All toys. Kinds of toys a lot of uh, things are coming from the toxic avenger okay soon well, to be a household name uh, you and, that, and, and, and you heard it here first you heard oh, it here first okay right here on beyond vaudeville mm -hmm. uh, okay now we do have uh, another guest we'd like to bring out uh 
and he's a, uh, a singer uh, uh, who's been on the Joe Franklin Show several times, and uh, we're very proud to have Mr. Uh, Tommy Rocco on the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Rocco, I can. That's all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> cares and woes in peaceful sweet repose will fade and die a dreamy dreamland beckons you and me how happy life would be if we could dream forever Seat down there, Mr. Uh, Rotaco. There's a seat over there. Uh, perhaps you can uh, join us uh, for a while. Uh, that was uh, uh, that was like uh, uh, Mel Torme with the uh, scat uh, at the oh, end yeah, that's, there. Uh, one of uh, Russ Colombo's songs. Uh, he recorded that in 1931, but I took it up a little bit. You know, made it a little more contemporary. Now, uh, now you've. Uh, You've been working on a, a patriotic album, or you, or you just did a patriotic, patriotic uh, album? I did a, a patriotic uh, album quite a few years ago uh, 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 to sing that there be peace in your heart. Oh. It's patriotic and, and hymns. Okay. And uh, now uh, we do have a, uh, um, a special guest we'd like to bring out. Uh, one of, every so often, uh, fans come from the program. And we had uh, a very uh, special fan come uh, join us today, uh, Ms. Uh, Robin Dawson, who brought some uh, goodies for the show. Uh, Robin. How are you? Uh, welcome to Beyond Vaudeville. Uh, uh, well, you can uh, have a seat there, I guess. Uh, Rachel's still back with the puppets. Uh, now, uh, what did you bring, uh, uh, Robin? Well, oh, uh, boy. I bought the new Frankenberry for you. Oh. Oh, and the you eyes go back and forth oh. on the <laughs> cover. Oh. And, I've got a Gumby doll. Gumby. Yeah. And these are all for me, not David, right? <laughs> I do have one thing for David, and I have something for Joey the monkey. Oh, well, well Joey will be out in a, in a few minutes. Then. How much time can we be doing? Okay. Oh, what Droopy is this? Dog. Droopy Dog. You remember him, Aaron? Uh, I think so. A long time ago. Puppet. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, and oh. I have this 
great stuff. Yeah, we have some button candy for you oh. and some wax bottles. Oh, and thank you. Candy. Oh, it's like uh, uh, Christmas time here. Mm. <laughs> Everyone remember, remember these candies? Remember the wax bottles? Remember those? I love those, those. Uh, yeah. Anybody want, if you want, you can yes. have some. Uh, I want one. I want a green one. Oh. I want that one. Be patient. Great stuff. Do you work in a toy store? Or where do you get all these? Yeah. Is that everything? No. Some crackers left. Some crackers left. Oh, Joey, okay. Yeah. And, uh, so, uh, well, okay. Robin, we're going to bring Joey out so we make sure he gets it. I can't open this. Uh, and so, we bring Joey out. We're going to try something uh, different today. So, we're going to open it. Did it. So, uh, I'm going to hold this. Instead of water, okay. I'm taking it. Hurry up now, Joey. We're running down on time. Uh, yeah. Pass them down. Yeah. Okay. Those are the nickels. Uh, That was nice. That was good to try something different from uh, dancing. And uh, I think he was trying to make a dog. Was that it, Joey? Okay, Joey was making a dog. Uh, now, uh, that was, uh, that was, I think, the, the dog. Talk uh, loud. Oh, yes, uh, very. Uh, now, uh, now uh, Mr. Stevens, uh, now, yes. uh, do you play much uh, professionally with the harmonica? Do you, do you? Not too professionally, but I do play here, there, and any place where someone is interested in listening and uh, uh, various places where elderly people are okay. and hospitals and private parties and on occasions in some TV place or maybe radio. That sounds pretty professional to me. Well, yeah. yeah, but I don't take it professionally because I don't want to uh, work too much. Okay. And, I'm, uh, I'm not a young boy anymore. Like I feel I am. Just lazy. But uh, oh no, oh, okay. <laughs> just take, just take it, uh, just take it easy, right? Okay. Well, uh, now uh, we do have to wrap things up, and uh, I, so I guess we're going to have to finish up. I can't believe all these things, Miss Dawson. This is very nice of you. And uh, Joey, the crack attacks are for you uh, when you fin you know, when we see each other. And uh, okay, and we want to thank you, uh, Mr. Britaco, uh, for joining us. Thank and, you. Uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, David, of course, uh, uh, thank you uh, uh, again. Uh, Mr. Fazio, uh, thank you. We'll keep an eye out for your uh, future thank you. projects. Also, let me tell you, the <coughs> people that put out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle dolls are the ones that are going to put out the Toxic Crusaders, oh. the Toxic Avenger, and along with his other sidekicks, okay. the dolls and the toys. Well, I can't wait Same to get people. those. Same. Okay, and uh, Mr. Stevens, we'll uh, keep an eye out for you with the, uh, at thank your you. professional uh, places, with, as Ms. Mm -hmm. Dole said. And Ms. Dole, thank you very much. Uh, it was a, a great honor to have you on. You've thank done you. some great movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Ms. Dawson, thank you. And you're welcome back anytime. You're going to bring all these great things. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Mr. K, uh, thank you for uh, being a special co-host today. Glad to be here. And, uh, and thank your daughter, Rachel. And okay, so uh, that's it. And we'll play the music now. Uh, is it time, right? Oh, it's not. No, the cat knocked the record off. Hold on. Okay. Uh. Oh, uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, Beyond Woodville.